Imagine a night filled with laughter and adventure, ending in unimaginable tragedy. This is the chilling tale of the Gollum Cave Incident, where four friends embarked on a journey that would cost them their lives. On August 17, 2005, in the quiet college town of Provo, Utah, a group of young adults decided to explore a little-known underwater cave on the side of Y Mountain. What began as an exciting adventure quickly became a nightmare that would haunt the local community for years. Stay with us as we delve into this haunting story, one that serves as a stark reminder of the dangers lurking in nature's hidden corners. And don't forget, once we reach 1,000 subscribers, we'll give away $50 to one lucky viewer. We're currently at 600, so hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of curiosity seekers. Why Mountain, looming over Brigham Young University's campus, has long been a beacon for adventure-seeking students. Its rugged terrain and hidden caves whisper promises of excitement to those daring enough to explore. Among these natural wonders lies the infamous Gollum Cave, a labyrinth that would become the stage for this tragic story. This underwater cave, shrouded in mystery and local legend, had captured the imagination of many, but few ventured into its depths. Enter our five protagonists, Jennifer, Blake, Scott, Ariel, and Joseph. Young, vibrant, and driven by an insatiable thirst for adventure, these friends were drawn to the mountain's mysteries like moths to a flame. Their bond, forged through shared experiences and a love for the outdoors, would be tested in ways they could never have imagined on that fateful August night. As the night wore on, the group's conversation turned to the mysterious Gollum Cave. Jennifer, having explored it before, regaled her friends with tales of its eerie beauty and hidden chambers. It's incredible she said, her eyes bright with excitement. But dangerous too. I almost got hypothermia last time. Blake raised an eyebrow. Wait, hypothermia? And you're suggesting we go back in? Jennifer laughed, though there was a flicker of hesitation in her smile. Yeah, but it's a short swim. We'll be fine. The thrill of discovery outweighed their fears, and the others, caught up in the excitement, agreed to venture into the unknown. At 2 a.m., under the cover of darkness, they arrived at the cave's entrance. The air was cool, and the cave's gaping mouth seemed to breathe the night air like a living thing. Joseph, already uneasy, glanced at his watch, noting the time. We sure about this? He asked, his voice barely audible above the rustling wind. Come on, man, it's just a cave, Scott reassured him, though even he couldn't shake the creeping sense of dread. With a single flashlight between them, they crouched through the cave's low entrance, wading into the shallow stream. The cold water clawed at their legs, sending shivers up their spines, a stark reminder of the challenge that lay ahead. As they reached the cave's inner chamber, the group faced their greatest obstacle, a water-filled hole no larger than a refrigerator door leading to a hidden cavern. Jennifer knelt beside the water and pointed to the dark passage. It's just a quick 15-foot swim, she said, her voice bouncing off the slick walls. Blake peered into the black water, his earlier bravado slipping. Are you sure? Jennifer's voice wavered, but she forced a smile. Yeah, we'll be fine. Just hold your breath. One by one, they lowered themselves into the freezing water. Jennifer went first, her body disappearing into the narrow tunnel. Blake, Scott, and Ariel followed their hearts pounding in their chests. Joseph, feeling a sense of foreboding, decided to stay outside, his nerves fraying with each passing second. As the others emerged into the secret chamber, their initial excitement was palpable, their whoops of triumph echoing in the tight space. But their joy was short-lived. With every breath they took, the precious oxygen in the small cavern dwindled. Jennifer, always the first to sense trouble, was the first to notice. We need to leave, now, she gasped, her voice strained. Panic set in. The group rushed for the exit, 
but in the chaos, Jennifer overshot the narrow tunnel leading back to safety. The Gollum Cave tragedy is a haunting reminder of nature's unforgiving power and the importance of respecting its dangers. In the years following the incident, the local community grappled with grief, shock, and a newfound awareness of the risks hidden in their beloved landscape. The story of Jennifer, Blake, Scott, and Ariel became a cautionary tale shared among students and outdoor enthusiasts alike. It sparked important conversations about adventure safety, the need for proper equipment and training, and the potential consequences of underestimating natural hazards. While the concrete seal on the cave's entrance stands as a physical barrier, the true legacy of this tragedy lies in the heightened consciousness it brought to the community. It underscores the delicate balance between the human spirit of exploration and the need for caution and preparation when venturing into the unknown. Her hands clawed at the rocky walls as her lungs screamed for air she couldn't find. Behind her, Ariel's thrashing grew weaker. Blake and Scott, still in the chamber, struggled to keep their breathing shallow, their bodies desperate for oxygen that wasn't there. Outside, Joseph's worry had transformed into full-blown dread. The minutes stretched into an agonizing hour, and the silence from within the cave became deafening. By 5.30 a.m., he could wait no longer. He peered into the cave's entrance, calling out for his friends, but was met only by eerie stillness. Frantic, Joseph called others who had been to the cave, desperate for advice. But as dawn broke, he made the hardest decision of his life. He called the authorities. At 6.25 a.m., rescue teams arrived, their faces grim as they assessed the situation. They immediately sprang into action, setting up pumps to force fresh air into the cave while draining the water-filled passage. For hours, they fought against time and nature in a desperate bid to reach the trapped explorers. As the water level receded, hope mingled with dread. What would they find in the depths of Gollum Cave? The tragic recovery of all four bodies left a profound mark on their families and the community. The loss was felt deeply, highlighting the fragility of life and the importance of safety in exploration. In the aftermath, authorities sealed the cave with concrete to prevent future incidents, a somber reminder that adventure must always be approached with caution. Tragedies like this serve as stark reminders that while the allure of the unknown can be thrilling, the risks are real. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more stories that raise awareness about the dangers of exploration. Let's make sure future adventures are approached with safety and caution. When we reach 1,000 subscribers, we'll be giving away $50 to one lucky viewer. Stay curious, but stay safe.